If Jesus is everywhere, why do I have to go to church? Jesus is everywhere and I have to go to church. Why can't he come to me? Okay, if I follow Jesus, why do I need church? When we examine Jesus' ministry, it's clear that from the very start, he never acted as a lone ranger. He immediately calls friends, apostles to his side, forms this community, and they live with Jesus. They, they travel with him. They listen to his preaching. They experience his miracles. They're intensively formed by him. And he does that on purpose so that they, formed by the Holy Spirit, will become the nucleus of the church and that the church will be the continuation of Jesus Christ's salvation, life, ministry, and action in this world. We celebrate the birthday of the church on the Feast of Pentecost, that morning when uh, the apostles and the Blessed Mother are gathered in that upper room and they are anointed in the power of the Holy Spirit, in tongues of fire and a mighty wind. And they unlock the door and for the very first time, Jesus Christ crucified and risen is proclaimed in the streets of Jerusalem as the new meaning of human history. Simon Peter, who 40 days before denied even knowing who Jesus was, now fearlessly proclaims him as Lord and Messiah. Acts of the Apostles says that their preaching was so persuasive, that the power of the Spirit was so compelling that 3,000 people were baptized that same day. And so the church is born in this explosion of the Holy Spirit. As Catholics then, we see that the church is the body of Christ. That we can't have the body without the head, but neither can we have the head without the body. That we can't have the fullness of Christ unless we experience him in this community that he formed and that he died and rose for. And so we see the church not as a place, not as a building, but as all of us baptized into Christ and anointed in the power of the Holy Spirit. It's in that community then that we experience the Eucharist, the sacraments, that we hear God's word proclaimed. It's clear that if each one of us just took the Bible and went off by ourselves and studied it and tried to live it, that we'd probably pick the bits and pieces of it that are most comfortable to us and eventually the message would erode. We'd lose bits and pieces of what's important. And so the mystery of the church is that for 2,000 years, she has held on to this full deposit of faith and that by all of us joined together in the Holy Spirit, we both receive and pass on that, that fullness of God's revelation to us in Christ. And so with confidence, we can live the mystery of the church knowing that, that this is the same community that Jesus founded. This is the same community that opened that door on Pentecost morning and went out into a world and proclaimed the resurrection of Christ. Pretty exciting stuff for a Sunday morning. I'd rather be doing that than sitting home alone uh, just reading the Bible by myself. It's in the community of the church that I find the fullness of Christ and that Christ finds me. It's the year of faith and we're connecting Christ and the Catechism of the Catholic Church Ignite your faith, share this video with a friend, and spark up a spirited conversation today. So what's the next C4 all about? We invite you to come back and see for yourself.